Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Pure Biology. And today I come with another video that is related to immunology. And today's topic is antigen presenting cells. Okay, antigen presenting cells. Okay. Before going to uh, this topic, I want to say thank you to all of you who have already subscribed my channel and uh, I have an announcement towards you that who have already subscribed my channel, please press the bell icon for getting all the notifications because uh, sometimes uh, I am facing uh, some problems um, uh, for uh, uploading the videos or I haven't got much time for uh, uploading the videos so you all don't get the notifications uh, for uh, this uh, uh, video when the video is uh, uploading and uh, don't get the actual notifications so please you press the bell icon and uh, for getting all the notifications and when I upload the video obviously uh, <coughs> you all uh, get the notifications okay so uh, this is the antigen presenting cells and uh, before uh, describing uh, these cells obviously uh, I have already explained uh, in my previous video that is related to the B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes. So you all check out that uh, topic and obviously <coughs> than this one okay but uh, there is no relation about the lymphocyte cells or the antigen presenting cells actually these cells which are very related uh, with the uh, immune system so uh, we have to learn uh, some uh, features that is uh, about the lymphocyte cells and the dendritic cells or the antigen presenting cells so these are the just few explanations okay so <coughs> first there is the Antigen presenting cells, which are called the antigen presenting cells, the common portals of entry for microbes are skin, gastrointestinal tract, and the respiratory tract. Okay. So, what is that? Generally, antigen or uh, antigen, not microbes, microbes enters within our body through skin or gastrointestinal tract or through the respiratory tract these are the actual main uh, areas you can say or the main spaces through which the microbes try to enter within our body so these uh, areas generally the inner lining areas of these uh, spaces generally there are some specialized cells okay there are some specialized cells okay and these are located in the actually epithelium tissues okay epithelium tissues so what is the role of this antigen presenting cells they generally capture the antigens and transport them to the peripheral lymphoid tissues and display the processed antigens to the TH populations or the TH cell for their activation. Clear? So what is the role of these APCs or which are called the APCs? These antigen presenting cells they remain within the inner lining of these areas and its function is that they capture the anti, uh, microbes or the antigens. These generally they capture the antigens and then transport them to the peripheral lymphoid tissues. Okay, peripheral lymphoid tissues. Either they transfer them to the peripheral lymphoid tissues and display the processed antigens to the TH populations means TH cells for their destruction okay for their destruction so what is the role of uh, antigen presenting cells actually either they transfer after capturing the antigens they transport them to the lymphoid tissues and or they transport them to the TH populations okay and before uh, transporting them towards the TH populations, 
they first have to process the antigens okay the second point is that the presentation is necessary for the activation of the th cells okay i have already explained what is the actual role of th cells and how they recognize the uh, presence of antigen so uh, and obviously elaborately i explained so you just check that videos obviously and here i just explain very briefly so this activation of th cell is possible only when they bound with the mhc molecules okay mhc molecules and what are the mhc molecules also i have i have uh, explained in the previous videos so mhc 2 molecules mhc 1 molecules all actually expect so th cells because only antigens are recognized by the activated th cells and which are togetherly bound with the mhc 2 molecules on the surface of apcs or antigen presenting cells so key what i am saying here that the presentation is necessary for the activation of the th cells why the presentation of the display of the antigen is necessary because of the activation of the th cells okay and how this uh, presentation is possible if this presentation is possible with the help of mhc molecules okay so why this activation is necessary because only antigens are recognized by the activated th cells which are already bound with the mhc 2 molecules clear so as the antigen is presented to the th cell in the binding form with the mhc 2 molecules then th cells become activated clear number 3 and this total is happening on the surface of apc antigen presenting cells on the surface of antigen presenting cells number 3 antigen presenting cells express the class 2 mhc molecules on their membrane okay and these are able to deliver another co stimulatory signal that is necessary for th cells activation okay not only they present the antigen towards the th cell obviously they deliver another co stimulatory signal for the activation of the th cell clear and which antigen presenting cells these are responsible for delivering the co stimulatory signals these are called the sorry professional apcs professional apcs okay professional apcs so what i am saying here that the apcs which are the professional apcs they actually deliver another co stimulatory signal for the activation of the th cells clear number 4 this apcs lost the internalized antigen either by the phagocytosis or by the endocytosis okay they haven't any capability to internalize antigen by phagocytosis or by endocytosis they cannot do this kind of working or this kind of functions you can say they generally lost their this type of activity okay actually they cannot internalize antigen by phagocytosis or endocytosis they only try to display the part of the antigen on their membrane bound class 2 molecules okay so they display a part of antigen to the mhc molecules and where the mhc molecules antigens uh, bound together then these uh, compound totally uh, presented to the t cells for the activations of the t cells and their t cells generally try to destroy the antigens clear so these are the actually antigen presenting cells 
okay another type of cells are there these are called the dendritic cells so we have to learn now the dendritic cells clear so there is no space so i have to rub this one and after that uh, <coughs> i will uh, explain okay okay uh, so <coughs> these are the dendritic cells and and the follicular dendritic cells okay now what we uh, will uh, learn about that is the dendritic cells and the follicular dendritic cells okay so first of all this dendritic cells these are called so that is these uh, sorry sorry for disturbance okay so uh, dendritic cells that means these are called so why because these are covered with long membranous extension okay membranous extensions and that resemble the dendrites of neuron okay so uh, why these are called the dendritic cells because of membranous projections or the membranous extensions are there or the cells are covered with the membranous extensions so that's why these are called the dendritic cells next point that is the function is what the function of these cells to present the processed antigen to th cells for the activation okay what is that that means same type of activity is seen like that apcs or or the antigen presenting cells that means they actually present the processed antigen towards the th cells some examples of this dendritic cells are one uh, thing that is the langerhans cells uh, interstitial cells myeloid cells okay these are the examples number 3 these arise from hematopoietic cells okay i will uh, explain about this hematopoietic uh, cell uh, in my next video okay so these arise from the hematopoietic cells next point is that they all constitutively express the high levels of mhc2 molecules and members of co-stimulatory b7 b7 family <clears throat> okay on their surfaces for this reason they are regarded as the most potent apcs what is that that means they express the high level of mhc2 molecules okay they express high level of mhc2 molecules and these are the member of the b7 family okay b7 family so uh, that's why these are the most potent apcs cells most potent that means uh, there are different types of apcs cells but this uh, dendritic cells are the most potent dendritic uh, apcs the next point is that immature precursor forms of the dendritic cells acquire antigen by phagocytosis or the endocytosis okay so generally the mature dendritic cells they generally uh, present the antigens in the binding form of mhc2 complex towards the th cells but in case of immature dendritic cells they are generally capable of consuming the antigens by the endocytosis process or the phagocytosis process clear so these are the features of the dendritic cells now we will learn about the follicular dendritic cells these are actually residing in the germinal centers of lymphoid follicles of peripheral lymphoid organs displays antigen that stimulate the b cells in the follicles so what is saying here that follicular dendritic cells actually these are responsible for the activations of the b cells okay so these generally reside in the 
germinal center okay so they are residing in the germinal centers of what the lymphoid follicles okay lymphoid follicles of the peripheral lymphoid organs okay the peripheral lymphoid organs so they residing in the germinal centers of lymphoid follicles which lymphoid follicles the organs which are the peripheral lymphoid organs okay and they generally displays antigen where that stimulate the b cells okay they displays the antigen towards the b cells to activate the b cells clear and they don't arise bone marrow from the bone marrow they don't arise from bone marrow and they do not possess obviously mhc2 complex like that apc and these uh, pre, these are made so what because of their exclusive localization in the lymphoid follicles and that are rich in the b cells okay so they are localized means they remain actually where the lymphoid follicles in the lymphoid follicles which lymphoid follicles which are reaching b cells clear which are reaching b cells and that's why these are named so and these possess a high levels of membrane receptors for antibody okay and which allows the binding of antigen and antibody complexes and this help in the activation of the b cells what is saying here its function is what kind of that is they have the receptors okay and receptors of what antibody and where the antigen directly bind to the receptor of antibody to form the antigen antibody complex and in that way or by the formation of this complex the b cells become activated and actually the, here the b cells try to uh, disrupt the antigens clear so these are the follicular dendritic cells and these are the dendritic cells clear so here that is uh, the dendritic cells actual functions to present the antigen toward the uh, t cells and what are the function of the follicular dendritic cells these here the receptors present uh, antibodies receptors obviously sorry sorry for the disturbance so here uh, the uh, receptors are there antibodies receptor and antigen directly bind with the receptor of the antibody and to form the antigen antibody complex and by this the b cells become activated and the destruction of antigen is possible by the b cells clear and actually these are not from the bone marrow and they are located in the lymphoid organs clear obviously the follicles of the peripheral lymphoid organs but here the b cells are maximum so that's why these are called the follicular dendritic cells so <clears throat> uh, here i explain about the antigen presenting cells and dendritic cells and the follicular dendritic cell uh, and in my next video i will try to describe the another type of cells that are related to immune system okay thank you